I would like to welcome you all to the celebration of the wedding of Justin and Abby DiMartino. I'm not sure I fully realized the impact you had on me until you went off to college and eventually moved away. During this time, we stayed in close contact through lots of text messages and calls. And it was in one of those phone calls I learned about this boy named Justin. Abby told me that it felt so natural and effortless. She said she had constant butterflies when talking to him and that she felt like she could really let her walls down. You came into my life when I least expected it. And I hate how cliche that sounds, but you literally came out of nowhere. My walls were up and my heart was guarded, but you were relentless in your pursuit. I was scared at first, but you wore your heart on your sleeve and something shifted. You know, as, as you head into marriage, as you head into with your life partner, how do you know? How do you know this is the one? This is the one that you are going to spend the rest of your life with. Well, there are a couple of tried and true options, I suppose. One, I've heard people say, take a road trip. Take a long road trip. Check that box. 15 hours. Justin was kind enough to go out to California and pick up Abby and drive her cross country. I knew you were the one a month later when you flew out to California to drive me home to Michigan. I told my friends that night almost two years ago that I was going to marry you. And now here we are on our wedding day. Her vows by Abby DiMartino. Okay, nice. <laughs> we're so twerky. Okay. The fact that I heard your name for the first time 10 years ago, but didn't meet you in person until eight years later, truly shows that there's always been that invisible string between us. Two years ago, Abby flew from California to Michigan to celebrate our wedding. But I remember her saying, I need to be there. That meant the world to Stephen and me and speaks to the type of friend that you are. She loves her people fiercely. And it all worked out because that night Abby met Justin. Annette took a picture of us three and sent it to Justin and he responded, who is that blonde in the middle? I'm going to marry her. And here we are today. Saying yes to being your wife was the easiest decision I ever made. You have my whole heart. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you look so the... handsome. Oh, you look great. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You're the best dad in the world. <laughs> Oh, we did it! Go us. Hello. Remember me? Yeah, remember me. Not even nervous, it's just how I'm gonna react. It's gonna be extremely emotional for me, just because, first off, I told her I've cried. I know I will cry, I'm a crier. Um, and I know I will, but it's excitement. It's the person you get to spend the rest of your life with, and she's absolutely stunning, so I'm looking forward to seeing her. He is the most caring man that I have ever met in my entire life. And the way that he loves me is unlike anything else. He makes me feel so safe. He's so goofy and fun. And I've just never felt the way I have about anyone in my life until him. She is vibrant. She is extremely enthusiastic about whatever she is doing. She is one of the most creative people I know. She doesn't give herself enough credit. She knows that. Um, she's the most loving person she has I've ever met. It's something else. It's a different kind of love and it's something I will cherish for, for the rest of my life for sure. Love is so much more than a feeling. Feelings come and go. But love is a commitment. It's an action that is born out in how you live life together an action that reflects companionship from this point forward. Abby Annie, you make oh me the best version of myself. Every day I wake up and I want to be a better man than the day I was before. 
Justin Michael, you are my everything. You love me in a way unlike anyone else, and I know in my heart that you are my person. I thank the Lord for you every day. You are the man that I have been waiting for. You are well worth the wait. Sometimes we doubt, but you two are the perfect example of how God has his way of making everything in our lives fall into place exactly the way they're supposed to. I know he is proud as what, of what he's done here and what he has in store for the two of you. May God richly bless you as you embark on a new adventure as husband and wife, partners, companions, and a life centered on God. sister, I have access to her old diaries. It says, my dream boyfriend, hair color blonde. Baby love, let's start life together. Love, Jay. Aww. We all come alive.